Today I'm going to be comparing two brushless drills from DeWalt and Milwaukee. Model numbers are in the description. Both of these drills are 18 volt models. The Milwaukee is a 4 amp hour battery and the DeWalt is a 3 amp hour battery. I really like the feel of the Milwaukee in the hand. The balance is basically perfect and it's a very compact size. I'm not a fan of how the DeWalt feels in the hand. The balance is off to me, it feels very top heavy and it's also a larger drill than the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee has a very nice build quality, all of the materials feel very high quality and the feedback from the drill settings are very pleasant. The chuck makes a really nice metallic sound as well and it feels very well put together. The DeWalt is also very nicely built but they have gone for a more plastic based approach. It feels very sturdy but maybe not as refined as the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee's LED light does a decent job of lighting up areas without creating too much of a shadow above the drill. The DeWalt's LED light lights up the focus area with more intensity but the background isn't lit up as well and it creates more of a visible shadow above the drill area. Both lights are very good but I prefer Milwaukee's approach because it has better coverage. The Milwaukee feels very responsive when pressing the trigger. I'm using the higher speed setting in this test. By comparison, the DeWalt feels very lazy and laggy compared to the Milwaukee. In this test I have switched to the lower speed. The DeWalt still feels very lazy compared to the Milwaukee. This is a very important factor for me because with the Milwaukee I, I feel I have more control over the drill. Here is a size comparison of the two drills. It doesn't seem that big, but in reality, it makes all the difference. Personally, I think the Milwaukee will suit more people than the DeWalt. battery size comparison isn't really fair. The DeWalt has a 3 amp hour battery whereas the Milwaukee has a 4 amp hour battery so we expect the Milwaukee to be bigger. But there are still visible differences in design. Milwaukee prefer a shorter boxier style battery whereas DeWalt prefer a slimmer and longer battery. Which design is best comes down to personal preference. I'd be happy with both. The DeWalt's carry case is very large compared to the Milwaukee. It also rattles a lot. It doesn't feel like DeWalt have thought about this too much. Milwaukee's case is practically silent when compared. Milwaukee's case is a much better thought out example. Everything in the case has a designated place and clips in to place very well. This minimizes rattle and damage to your tools.
DeWalt's case is more poorly designed. The tools don't sit properly in their designated areas. This is what causes the rattle from the case. Compared to Milwaukee's case, there is a night and day difference. Milwaukee's bundled charger features 18 volt and 12 volt charging. So you can charge multiple tools using only one charger. I think this is a handy feature. DeWalt's charger on the other hand is a lot more basic. It only features 18 volt charging. Here's what the batteries look like when they're docked. DeWalt's battery has a life indicator button. When you depress the button, the battery life lights up, but you have to keep your finger on the button. Milwaukee's battery also has an indicator button. When you depress the button, the battery also lights up. You don't have to keep your fingers pressed though. I prefer the Milwaukee's approach. I forgot to mention the Milwaukee drill also comes with a belt clip, which is handy Overall, I prefer the Milwaukee brushless drill. I think it offers the more complete package of the two. Thank you for watching my video. If you like, check out the other videos on my channel. At the moment, I'm doing a lot of varied reviews until I find something that sticks. Any support or feedback is appreciated.